fair to say if you're watching golf on TV, you're probably watching bowling on TV. If you're watching bowling on TV, yeah, you're watching fishing on TV. I think it's pretty much a done deal, don't you think? God, you're watching fishing. I mean, you're watching fishing. We have a man sitting in a chair, drinking a beer and relaxing. Watching a man sitting in a boat, drinking beer and relaxing. Manager in transition. No, upgrade this guy. He's not in transition. Maintenance. Sales. Yeah, baby. He memorized it. I'm impressed. I'm like, where's his card? He's memorized. I know my haircut makes me look weird, and you got the same thing going for you, friend. I appreciate it. I, I can't believe I'm actually allowed to open for a president. That's unbelievable, isn't it? He, he, uh, he, uh, I was talking to him backstage, and he said, you know, I met Sting, and his haircut's worse than yours. So I thought that was, I thought that was pretty nice of him. Big crowd. Thank you for that warm welcome from all of you. It's a great, I didn't realize there's this many people in here. Huge, huge gathering. I think I want to thank Tim Clue, who's just out here. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but I think so. And uh, he did, the Secret Service are working him over right now, and then, but, but, but they won't hurt him, believe me. My mom was great, though, because she would actually announce when she was about to lose it. Did anyone have the, uh, the, the mom that was kind enough to do the pre- losing warning announcement she would she would walk into the kitchen or the living room she'd walk in she'd be like listen to me listen to me listen listen to me you need to listen you need to listen to me all right you need to you need to listen i'm losing it i'm losing it you need to look at me are you looking at me you need to look at me look at me look at me look look at me look you need to look at me are you looking at me you need to look at me do not look at me. He had the subject matter nailed and displayed it in a very comical light and basically made fun of Caterpillar, which is something we have never done as a corporation in front of our dealers. Is great if you want to Florida. <laughs> want to Florida. I want to Florida. Do you want to Florida? I want to be hot in Florida. That has simply, a, that is going to happen. I want to Florida. When we Florida, we will. Is it Flor Florida date? You meant Florida date. Florida date. Okay, let's just start again. And I, I the like dealers, this. I saw tears coming out of their face laughing at his comedy. It was that effective. As? Project. Sales. Managers. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Yeah, 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 baby, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, my God. We have 22 more of these to go. <laughs> Halloween, always a big day for every kid. It was almost like a religious holiday for a kid until my mom had to work overtime, and she did the worst thing possible. She put my dad in charge of the costuming. You know what happened when your dad takes over costuming? One year you're a hobo, the next year you're a bum. What's the difference? <laughs> Gee, the eye patch. How'd you come up with the eye patch, Dad? What am I, a bum with astigmatism or a hobo with a lazy eye? Which one am I? He could have cared less. One year, he is so pathetic. He told my brother and I just to go as the next door neighbor. I'm like, I'm not going, Dad. I'm not going as the neighbor. We can't. My brother's like, how do we go as the neighbor? You know what he did? He handed us a monkey wrench, told us to go knocking on door, saying, hey, buddy, you mind if I borrow this? That's a, that was the costume, a monkey wrench and a phrase. That's not good. One year he threw us two remote controls and a couple of empty cans of beer. Told us to go as him. Now that's pathetic. I'm going around Halloween as my dad. Hey Tim, Mitch Kaloris from Informant Communications Group. We had nothing but rave reviews about your performance at the conference. Um, the fact that you came in early and customized your act uh, to suit our group really, really made a big difference uh, toward them having a wonderful, wonderful time. If this is your first Special Care Dentary Association conference, stand up and let's give these, give them a nice round of applause. These are all our first time attendees. Fantastic. Okay, wait. Remain standing. If 
this is your last special dentistry <laughs> care association. No, I'm kidding. Of course not. It's not. You're going to come back. I mean, especially after that guy, he's going to come back again, and he'll, he'll be doing the presentation next year. <laughs> you can tell, so you've got to come back for that. My mom would say things that you couldn't even, you couldn't even figure out what she was talking about. She's like, we need to skedaddle, let's not dawdle. We've been lollygagging. What the, what are you talking about? Lolly, lollygagging. What, I'm, lo I'm lollygagging, I'm choking on suckers? What am I, lollygagging? I'm lolly lollygagging. I'm in sixth grade, my mom's telling me not to dilly-dally. I'm like, gross, how did she find out? That's, uh, that's, that's not right. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going there, that's not right. Tim, it's Jeannie Doyle, and I just wanted to call and say thank you for performing last week at uh, our Christmas party, and the place was just uh, up for grabs. It was really funny. Um, people were telling me how hysterical you were, and I, and I really appreciate it. You make my job very, very easy. Uh, in fact, some of these people swear they must be related to you because they think that you were raised in their family. Please, stand up and remain standing if you happen to think I look like a little guy off a of Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer cartoon. <laughs> Some of you are sitting down, it's only because you've never seen it. <laughs> Would anybody like to give me the famous quote? What did Hermie say? I want to be a dentist. I don't want to make toys, I just wanted to be a dentist. <laughs> Fantastic, congratulations. You give a half price buffet ticket and some extra peach cobbler at the buffet. Hasn't discipline totally changed? When we were growing up, it was just like, if you did something wrong, you know, you get a little right a little smack not hard a little smack maybe you know by a board maybe that board had a nail in it who knew <laughs> hey dems the brakes you go to the hospital you get a tetanus shot you come home whatever you did you never did again <laughs> you're a kid today you do something wrong of course everyone says that you ought to give them time out and i don't understand how that works uh, everyone thinks that that's a good form of punishment i don't see how time out is actually a, a, a punishment. You, you've done something wrong, and we've decided pretty much as a society that we should provide that child with a break. <laughs> with just a little more time to sit around and think of some other fancy stuff to make your life miserable. <laughs> time out is not punishment, ladies and gentlemen. It is a brainstorming session. <laughs> you say to your son, now that's it, mister. I have had just a bump enough. Time out. He's thinking, thank God, I couldn't get the curling iron to melt the Crayolas. Dad's underwear won't stay on the dog. I need a break. <laughs> I think I'm going to sit here for 15 minutes and come up with stuff that you'll remember for the rest of your life. <laughs> uh, uh, like. Help. Uh, on. On. Okay, let's start down here at this, um, um, and, um... He memorized it, I'm impressed. Could you switch with him for just a switch, switch here? All right, very good. manager in transition. Oh, upgrade this guy. Yeah, baby. Thank you. You guys have had a lot of fun. Thank you so very much.